mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the most popular... Kate. Ro Kate. <laughs> Hello, Royal Grandmama. I was just waiting outside, hoping you would call me in so we can bond and do regal things together and have so much fun. Yay! <laughs> they do, Miss Diana. <sighs> A scene from Air Farce's annual New Year's Eve special. Plenty of familiar faces, but one you may not have seen in a little while. Former cast member Jessica Holmes is back. And Jessica joins me now to talk about the show and a homecoming of sorts. So you're back after a six-year hiatus? Yes. What was that like for you personally? Well, I took the hiatus so I could work more on, on stand-up and motivational speaking, like just solo projects I yeah. wanted to do. But then coming back into rehearsal, suddenly I got very nervous entering the building and I was like, I don't know how to be funny. I don't know how to talk to people. What do you say? Do I shake hands? What do I do? Like, it was so strange. <laughs> and then right away, rehearsal started and the wigs came out and funny voices and then it was just like, oh, we're family. That's it's so nice, nice to be oh, back. Nice. And I, I think you were telling one of my producers that there are there are a lot of younger cast members and you were thinking, how's that going to work? Well, because I'm terrified of younger people. They're so cool. Um, but <laughs> I decided, uh, you know what, I'm just going to go for it. And they are so funny. First of all, they're warm and kind and sweet. Yeah. But they're so funny. Like Daryl Hines' Obama, the best Obama I've ever seen. Emma's hilarious. Aisha does this crazy Rihanna parody where um, she's singing work. Her It's her video for work. Yeah. But it's her telling Justin Trudeau, work, work more, twerk less, take less selfies, put your shirt back on, get to work. And uh, I get to do a little Sophie Gregoire in there. So oh, tell me, yeah, tell, I was going to ask you, yeah, because you're talking about what a lot of other people are doing. Well, what about you? I mean, 2016, yes. you know, well, there's, there's I, a little bit of material there to I play know. with. I know, and when I came on board, my first question was, is it too soon to do Celine? And they were like, it's too soon, woman. Find, find some other pony to ride. Um, and so they gave me Sophie Gregoire Trudeau, and I, I was thrilled. First of all, I'm a huge fan of hers, so I felt yep. the tiniest titch guilty. Um, mm -hmm. But they, they sweetened the deal by saying, you get to dance. And I'm a terrible dancer, which is really funny. And so I jumped at the chance to do that. And nice. it's, it's a cooler show than it was uh -huh. when I left. They weren't doing so many of these short films that they're doing and music video parodies and um, they've thrown some pop culture in there as well mm. as the politics. So for me, it's so cool to be a part of it. And, you're, and Kate Middleton, you get to be Kate Middleton. I get to be Kate Middleton. Because um, that's so close to your life, right? <laughs> Her uh, life is yes. so close to your actual yes, life. Yes, I was just mentioning before we shot that I do spend the summer in a trailer park. Uh, so I didn't know you pronounce it Duchess. I was just like, Dutch Kate girl, Dutchette. Um, so, yes, I had to find the refined way mm. that she speaks, mm. which mm -hmm. is the opposite of me with feet up on the table when I have breakfast. Um, but then I also get to, like, let loose with this Sister Bessie character who sort of takes the wind out of politics from mm. the year. And we talk about elbow gate. And, and I just have to say, like 2016 a lot of people are saying oh this is such a tough year you know end it before we lose someone else um, and I think collectively it's really nice to come together as a country and just have such a laugh and yeah. sort of let go of our anxieties and be like dudes we're in this together yeah um, any special guests that you think will steal the spotlight Yannick Bisson's eyelashes steal the spotlight, quite frankly. Uh, you know him from Murdoch Mysteries. Um, he's a, a wonderful actor. We do a sketch with him. And Christine Sinclair, who mm -hmm. I play soccer. I play very mm -hmm. badly, but I do play training. soccer. And she's the captain of, of Canada's uh, women's soccer team. So it, we were all very starstruck. You know, everyone mm -hmm. hushes backstage when, when yeah. her sketch comes on. And uh, she's a great sport. Oh. Yeah, so I'm thrilled to be back. So... 40, it's 40 years, right? 40 years? Fans still love the New Year's special. What do, yeah. you, what do you think the secret is? Is there something to it? I think well, you are well, part of the oh, secret, please. obviously. Oh, please. Um, I think it's very nice people working really hard together. And mm. I love that about it. But I will also say, when it started, it was one woman and four guys. And now it's four women and three guys. Mm -hmm. And so, first of all, I think that is very brave of the show to kind of do this uncharted territory in sketch comedy. And... Also, I'm, I'm just thrilled. It's a good-looking show. Good wigs. Yeah. We have the Trump wig. Do you know how long it takes to turn cotton candy into a wig for a man? And then you have to dye it. Or wear <laughs> I know. Orange. You just make it Jennifer Aniston orange, and then, <laughs> woof, done. You don't even have to act when the wigs are that good. This was so nice to talk to you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Just as Jessica mentioned, you can catch Air Farce tonight and also New Year's Eve, right? Also yep. New Year's Eve. Check our website for times in your area. The full one-hour special will air 
again across the full CBC on January 1st at 7 p.m., 7.30 in Newfoundland.